Hi guys, uh, I was going to talk uh, more about uh, some of the signs in the sky that are um, taking place uh, in regards, you know, around these events that I had spoken about in the past videos. Um, actually, I just needed to, I'll just leave all links um, under this video and you all can go look at them. There's one in particular though I do want to talk about the um, about the, um, this uh, where they claim that a May 20 mega earthquake could occur on this date <coughs> too because of the alignment uh, that was to take place and uh, and this video here um, points to um, says a, co a coincidental events and data points <coughs> and uh, it's about three minutes it's not very long that while you're watching the screen I, I just want to say that no matter what we may face in life we only have you know this one life and then uh, after we're gone you know uh, it's, uh, it's it'll be the judgment because in the Bible it says uh, it is appointed uh, for man wants to die and then the and then the judgment so when we leave this world and uh, however we're going to leave this world uh, we need to be ready to meet um, Jesus either as our Savior or as our judge and you don't want to um, want him to be your judge that means that you won't be acquitted at that trial if you die in your sins and this is a call to your, a repentance because Jesus died to save us from the penalty of sin and from corruption and and from death because only he, through him is eternal life and the and this was basically all I needed to say is to um, call you guys out if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior please get to know him today if you hear this because you may not have another tomorrow I, I'm not even guaranteed another day or another tomorrow um I know that I, I think if I die tomorrow, I know that I'll be with Jesus face to face. I'll, I'll have to face him. We will all face him one day. and But I know that I'll be safe with him forever. I, I'll live with him forever. <coughs> And that's well. This is basically all I have to say about that. That please don't put put it off, um, because it's it's such so great a salvation that you you can't just say you know well that's not for me or I like to live the life I have. But Jesus said. What profits a man that gains the whole world and loses his soul? See, so you've got one chance in this lifetime. And even if you live for the Lord, I mean, it's the best thing you you could ever do. I mean, why live a sinful life? You know, anyway, and and for what? And then face that for an eternity, that the life that you lived... 
uh, you'll, you'll be facing those sins for the rest of your life. And it'll be played like over and over, you know, like a, like a rerun on the TV. And you don't want that to happen. <clears throat> well, uh, I just thought I would, um, offer you this, uh, call to repentance and um, salvation if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, this is the alignment, the three alignment of the this is from the, the Pleiades star system and the, the alignment of the three planets. <coughs> I believe that's what this is. Yeah, you know, this is the May twentieth alignment. As you see there. And there's there's what your um uh, eclipse looks like. There's a lot of interesting things going on in the sky. <clears throat> and here's the the <clears throat> the serpent's eclipse on on the same day, May the twentieth, and this is what an annular um, eclipse looks like. Is what is an annular solar eclipse. So this is what will be going on on May the 20th. Uh, well, uh, the NATO summit's going on in Chicago. And it's 13 days before the Venus transit. And it shows that evil, uh, what they call, uh, pyramid there in Mexico where they used to uh, do human sacrifice to demons. Yeah. This is the uh, alignment of the mysterious red X over this space here where uh, it says that the um, predicted tsunami is to occur on the west on the west coast. And you see this X. I've, I'm sure you've seen this X before. So a lot of very interesting things going on on May the 20th. So I'll leave this page so you all can examine it closely. Um, this, but basically my message is here is to is a call to repentance because we all need to repent and be. Um, be forgiven by God and, and seek His face and, and ask Him, um, you know, to save us, forgive us of our sins um, before, like, when our time comes um, and when He calls us out of here that we will be ready. Um, you know, uh, so I'll leave links to all, all this information. Um, all these events that are, are uh, coming up um, here in the next month, early next month, in June. And there's uh, a map. You see, like, the, the transit, it progresses at sunset on June the, the 5th. And you'll see that <coughs> over in North America. 
and then uh, the transit in progress on June the 6th on, in sunrise will be uh, or actually it will uh, go all over the Middle East, Europe, parts of Africa and parts of Asia. Oh, there was also something else I wanted to uh, to mention about the the date, uh, the particular uh, well, not just the date, but uh, Venus, but, um, that it was the the star uh, that was visible at the time of Christ's birth, and this is an interesting page where uh, had the his birth had been recalculated that it was closer to the year 3 BC rather than um, the years they they thought was between 4 and 7 BC and the evidence that they found based it on history archaeology and astronomy so I'll leave this page for you all to read then I, th I found this very interesting and um, it also mentions um, about the morning star uh, the, the star of Bethlehem that appeared at the time of his birth. This one uh, particular page um, also mentions about Venus too, about Lucifer has fallen from riding the beast. Um, so we all know who basically who Lucifer is, who is Satan. And it mentions in Isaiah 14 where it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning, that thou cut down to the ground which this weakens the nations? For thus thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend to heaven, and I will exalt my throne above the stars of God, and I will sit upon the mount of a, country, uh, a congregation in the side of the north, and I will ascend above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high yet thou shalt be brought down to hell to the sides of the pits and they that see see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and, and consider thee saying is this the man that made the earth to tremble and then did shake the nations uh, I see there was something else here in regards to Venus okay in the original Hebrew reference that Hael ben uh, Shekhar, she she I think it's how you pronounce it. I'm really bad at Hebrew. But anyway, that Hael he 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 means morning star, literally the planet Venus. From the root word Hael uh, meaning to shine or to give light, also quite probably to boast and the second word ben which means sun and uh, shikar translates generally to morning or properly to dawn as um, okay well, as you see you know, but I don't use these versions uh, they're using uh, versions that well I wouldn't suggest uh, using like the RSV, the NAS, definitely the NIV, do not do not stay away from that. Okay, during the the fourth century that Jerome had translated for the Greek from the Septuagint to the Latin of the Vulgate, the planet Venus was called Lucifer, which is interesting. It was called the same in the Roman um, astrology, so we see that Jerome has made a logical choice of warning in the particular passage and the time frame associated with Isaiah 14:12 as the morning star of Venus. So why did I bring this up? Well, anyway, uh, the the thing that is going on in the sky, and I'm running out of time, so I have to quit. <laughs> so I'll leave the, all the links in in the info bar and. I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll, I have more on this subject later, so uh, y'all take care, uh, Jesus loves you, and I hope he gave you life to him today, uh, before it's too late, y'all take care, and 
I love you too. Bye.